The PS2 comes standard with Digital Input 1, which is illustrated here as Terminals 9 and 10. This is a contact type input. You don't need to power this input. All you need is a normally open or normally closed switch to activate the features that you enable within configuration mode, which we're going to look at those choices. I'm going into configuration mode. It's uh, digital input one, parameter 42 for this firmware level. By default, it's off, and you have uh, your first choice is negative on or on. Negative on is normally closed type switch, and this is normally open. And this choice will communicate to your control room the status of this input. And that can be communicated through Heart, Profibus, Foundation Field Bus, or if you have the alarm card, can be communicated through the fault output. And this is, is useful for if you have a local indicator or a local alarm on the process near this valve, that status of that alarm can be communicated back to your control room. Then there's block one, which will prevent a user from gaining access to the configuration mode via the local push buttons. Block two prevents access to configuration mode and prevents user from bypassing the automatic control and putting the PS2 into local manual mode. Here is the override up setting. So it will override the automatic control and drive the valve to the up position when the input is triggered, drive it to the down, or hold the current position and it will hold it until it's re the input is released. Here's the normally closed settings for those same override choices. And you can also perform a partial stroke test based on the status of the input. Let's go back to block two, which will prevent us from putting the positioner into manual mode and gaining access to configuration. As you can see, I can go in and out of manual mode. And in manual mode, I can drive the valve anywhere I want with the local push buttons. Here's automatic control. So now I'm going to short out terminals 9 and 10 with my jumper. And you can see I'm pressing the button, but it's not going into manual mode. I'm pressing the holding the button, and I can't gain access to the configuration. This is a nice feature for customers that are a little bit concerned of the accessibility that's offered with the PS2 with the local push buttons and display. You can simply uh, enable one of these block modes, put a jumper on terminals 9 and 10. The technician would have to know to remove the jumper before it can gain access to configuration and or manual mode. You can get really secure and connected to a key switch that will perform the same function. So uh, let's get into configuration mode and let's look at one of the override settings and how that's performed. Let's change, here's up one, here's up. So now the positioner is in automatic mode and when that input is triggered, it will um, go to the up position. Here I move the valve to 50% uh, by the control signal and it's holding 50%. Now I'm gonna trigger the input and it automatically drives the valve to the up position. The local display gives you an indication that it's an external up and it will stay in this mode Theoretically forever, as long as the input's triggered this way. And as soon as the input is released, it goes back into automatic control mode. This digital input comes standard with the PS2 and offers a lot of control and security for your valve assembly.